You would assume that something like McDonald's or KFC completely controls the fast food market over the entire world. However, in the Baltic states of Finland, Lithuania, Estonia, and Latvia, a competitor dominates the market share. This fast food chain is younger, more unique, and today we're gonna find out if it's tastier. This is Hesburger, founded by Heike Salmela and his wife Kirsty in Turku, Finland. It started out as just a little grill in 1966, but by the 80s, the Salmela family had taken this grill and transformed it into Finland's first fast food restaurant. As of 2023, they are looking to expand further into the Middle East and maybe at some point the Western world. Is this restaurant the underdog? The dark horse? Will it be McDonald's? Here we are. This is a lot of food and it smells great. Well, here we are. This is me, and this is a lot of food. I've not eaten all day. Well, that's a lie. Okay, I'm lying. But I've not eaten for a while to make sure I'm ready for this. Okay, firstly, we're gonna try the smaller items. Let's see how the fries taste. They look good. They're thicker cut than McDonald's. They ain't that crispy, kind of squashy, and I will note, I got this delivered. The guy took forever, so everything's cold which might skew my judgment just a little bit, but hey, here we go. To be honest, I quite like a thicker fry. I'm a fan of these, but they are cold. They've salted them well. They've salted them very well. Fries are fries, so I didn't really introduce them. But every item from now on, I'm gonna introduce with what the Hesburger website has to say about their item. So next on the list are the chicken nuggies. Crispy chicken nuggets are just the thing for when you're feeling a little bit peckish or even when your stomach is growling for something more. Whatever the case may be, you can go for a four piece, six piece, or nine piece serving. They come with your choice of mayonnaise or dip. And they did. I chose the classic Hez Burger, paprika mayo. I'm gonna put it into one of these little pots. There we go, guys. Lovely. Smell test. Smells pretty good to be fair. Smells pretty good to be fair. Now what I will say about these nuggies is they're they're wet, they're not crunchy, they they're, they're, they feel rubbery, they look, they don't look good or feel good is what I'm trying to say. But I've never really been a McDonald's nugget fan, so I guess we'll just have to see how I feel. I'll try without the sauce first. I actually, I don't know if it's because I'm so hungry, but those are actually nicer than McDonald's nuggets. I feel like the chicken feels more real. It feels like they got a chicken breast and cut it up and, and fried it. Whereas uh, McDonald's, you know, is like paste, chicken goo. Anyway, next, with the sauce. Mmm, yeah. That sauce hits. Mmm. Seven, seven out of 10 on the sauce and uh, five out of 10 on the nuggets, maybe maybe six. Okay, next is the cheeseburger. This is just like one of those uh, sort of $1 McDonald's cheeseburgers. Here we are, a tiny little thing. The good thing about having a case of the munchies is that a Hesburger cheeseburger is just the cure. This tasty little treat is an all beef patty wrapped in a soft bun and topped with onion, cheddar cheese, and pickles, seasoned perfectly with ketchup, mustard, and a generous dollop of our famous cucumber mayonnaise. Now that sounds bad to me. That sounds bad. Well, Charlie, why does it sound bad? It sounds like every burger ever. It's the cucumber mayonnaise, and this is a, a trending theme. You'll see this in most of the burgers today. I don't like cucumber. I think it's vile, I think it's disgusting, I think it's gut-wrenching, one of the worst vegetables on planet Earth. I just have a hatred for it. So if this cucumber mayonnaise tastes strongly of cucumber, the rest of the video is going south. Anyway, let's try. 
take back what I said. Their cucumber mayo is just mayo. I cannot taste the cucumber. It's good, but it's really bready. See, this, this top bun is very thick. So is the bottom, actually, compared to the meat. So... I c I'm just getting bread. All I taste is bread, you know? It's good, it's better than I thought it would be, but it's no match on the McDonald's cheeseburger. Something about the McDonald's cheeseburger, it just doesn't even seem real. This is the Hez Burger. The Hez Burger itself. Tucked in between three soft buns are two all beef patties, cheddar cheese, ketchup, onion, pickles, and iceberg lettuce. Hez Burger's own paprika and cucumber mayonnaise add the crowning touch. Oh baby! So, when I see this, it's a Big Mac, right? Bun, burger, bread. Where's my second? Nah, it's in there. Second burger and all the gubbins. I will be comparing this to a Big Mac. Let's go, big bite. Mam. Mmm! Mam! Oh, I'm a mucky boy. When that first bite wasn't great, second bite, that paprika mayo came through. I love that paprika mayo. Compared to a Big Mac, I don't know, because Big Mac sauce, you know, is famous. Big Mac sauce is a staple. But I love the paprika. I love the paprika mayonnaise. One thing I will add, it's hardly any meat. Again, the meat to bread ratio, just feel like it's off. But hey, I like it. <coughs> wow, I'm choking. It's that good. Next, we're gonna go for the chicken wrap. The chicken tortilla wraps around chicken fillet strips. Greek style cheese cubes, onion, tomato, ice, oh gosh, sorry. Iceberg lettuce and jalapeno with just the right amount of bite. This masterpiece is finished off with Hesburger's renowned paprika mayonnaise, bravo. Well, you hear that, guys. It's got paprika mayo in it, which means I'm gonna like it. Yeah, let's tuck in, I guess. Not, I've got nothing else to say, I'm, I'm spent. That first bite didn't count because it was just a tortilla. Big bite, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Bro. I don't know, it's definitely a fatter wrap than McDonald's. For some reason, I'm confused by this. Because it's good. Don't get me wrong, it's good. It's actually really good. I think it's better than any McDonald's wrap I've ever had, actually. I think this one beats McDonald's. But at the same time, something feels wrong. So, I don't know. I ain't trusting it. Perhaps it's because the chicken's grilled. Usually I get crispy chicken in a wrap. Next, we have the chicken burger. Very orange chicken. Between the giant bun, you can find the even more delicious recipe. Chicken patty fried to crisp perfection, pickles, ice salad, cheddar cheese, and fresh tomato. And do not forget Hesburger's cucumber mayonnaise. Oh, back again, are we? To be taken hops with a good side of company. I mean, with a side of good company. Hesburger, I failed you because I'm sat on my own in my depressing apartment and it's cold. But hey, this one seems like it's gonna be good. It actually doesn't. That chicken doesn't look appetizing, but first bite. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Man, I don't hate any of them. I was, I was hoping to hate them because of the cucumber. Cucumber. The cucumber. But since you can't taste the cucumber, it's actually fine. But yeah, it's good. If I can remember McDonald's chicken burgers correctly, they're miles ahead. And now there's only two things left to try. The wild cards. I want to try this one first. Because this one I'm actually excited for. I think this is going to be my favorite based on the research I've done. The BBQ burger. Taste the burger with 100% beef, a slice of bacon, cheddar cheese, crispy onion rings, pickles, onions, and delicious sauces. Mustard, ketchup, barbecue sauce, and the excellent Hez Burger paprika mayonnaise. So they've just filled this with stuff. Onion rings, bacon, more onion. I think this one's gonna be good. Here we are, first bite. Mmm. I don't know, it just, it's confusing me. It just like isn't right. I to make a point to Hesburger as well. Their sauce distribution is terrible. You know, in McDonald's, they have the little like, they've got the guns, they've got the machines. So it's perfect every single time. 
evenly spread every single time. Here, I think the employees just get a bottle of sauce and just go with their eyes shut. It's happened in like every single burger. I buy one half, there's no sauce. I buy the next half, and it's too much. My mouth, my mouth is full of sauce. Come on, Hesburger. Do better, do better. I don't know, man, I'm disappointed. I thought this was gonna become my new favorite burger in the world. It tastes of so much, but so little at the same time. Like, there's so much going on. But I don't know if they all, like, contradict each other, and they just make a taste of nothing. Finally, we have this strange thing. This is the kebab burger. In a pita bun, there is a lightly peppered kebab meatball. I had to Google Translate these, by the way, so they prob that's why they sound so weird. A slice of cheddar cheese, crispy iceberg lettuce. <gasps> oh my gosh, sorry. Oh. Tomatoes, fiery jalapenos, onions, and Hesburgers, delicious paprika, and chili mayonnaise. Oh. But what it looks like to me, it's just like any other burger, but they've just put it in a pita. All right, first bite, here we go. Mm. Yeah, it's a regular burger. Man, I don't know. I don't know, it just all kind of blows. It's a nice concept, but they've done it wrong. Because they've just used a normal beef burger, no difference in, it's just a burger, it's the cheeseburger, but just in a pit of bread. So, final thoughts. Hesburger, keep trying. You're not far off. I liked it all, but it just wasn't quite there.